Gonna build a mountain from a little hill. Hey guys and thank you so much for tuning into my channel and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Franchise Mode and as you can see something has changed here wasn't able to fix the tape here it's stuck there together with the caretaker and I just can't do anything about it so I have moved the tapir's habitat and I got a new tapir in here and hopefully we will have some more luck this time and it will not get stuck or anything like that. Remember, it's a beta, so things like this can happen. I did file a bug report, and for those who are wondering, this is pre-recorded, so don't worry, I am not the only one that is still having the beta or anything. I wish! No, I don't. Everyone should be able to still play the beta, of course. Okay. No, but it's all fine. So hopefully, well, we will see this message all the time. Buffaloes! Let's talk about buffaloes let's unbox all animals i don't know why that happened but look at that while i was fixing the tapir's habitat we've got little babies they were so fast i don't know what has happened but look how absolutely cute this one is it's absolutely adorable i just really can't help it it's absolutely amazing and there's another one right over here playing with a ball it's just so cute. I do have to do something about the lagging because I don't know what happens. I'm probably having too many animals and the beta probably can't handle it right now. So we might want to just change the settings just a little bit. It's on high now, so maybe this will fix it just a little bit. The game will be less pretty though, but hopefully we are able to work with this. And if not, I will change it back if it doesn't help anything. They are absolutely so adorable and I'm so happy that we finally see some more babies in our zoo. So yeah, I'm really happy to see that it is working out at some point. Our tapirs are really happy in their habitat. Hopefully we can see some cute little babies. So did we miss out on any other babies then? Because I don't know, guys. How are you guys doing? No pregnancies or whatsoever. What about this habitat? We have an adult grizzly bear right over here. And we have an adult grizzly bear over here. Well, as I mentioned earlier, like when I play with the grizzly bears for some reason for years they didn't have any babies and as soon as I got new ones after the ones I had died of old age I did have babies so yeah I don't know so over here we have the black bear habitat and I'm curious how you guys are doing right over here the habitat is maybe a little bit too small for them I see and the cleanliness could be better too and let's see now i was curious because i did hear front here explaining in the beginning like animals can get bored of toys the thing is you can see that right over here and i didn't see that earlier so you have your enrichment 100 percent you have a large fixer roller and you can see here the amount of like i don't know the, the points or how much they are worth but the thing is i noticed when i went to the habitat of the wolves we had a sprinkler over here and it's not in here right now i should have kept it but there was a sprinkler and it turned in red because they were really very bored of the sprinkler so i've added some new toys and now they're actually really happy with their habitat so this is very interesting also to look at their enrichment and to see if they get bored or not from the toys that are in there so you have to make sure you once in a while change some toys in there so yeah that's really nice to see that that is also working i had no idea that it was already working in our gameplay where is the female lady where is she oh she's here also not pregnant oh you want so many i want babies i want so many babies and at least we do have now some buffalo babies and it's funny that's the last animal we've added and the first animal getting babies <laughs> it's so funny uh did we miss anything in here so yeah all my pronghorns being traded i don't think we've missed out on anything else are you guys still happy with your habitat 
Is there anything wrong in here? I don't think so. The land area is fine. You are happy with your water. So I think everything over here is good to go. And we should just continue expanding our zoo, I think, and just see what else we can add. I'm just really curious how this will end. Like how many tapirs or and how many other animals do we need to get before they get babies in here? Do we have like how are these mates right now? Um, Okotan? Is that the one in here? I think so. So this is 84%. Is that Okotan? Okay, 84% chance. So that is pretty high. So I really hope it's going to turn out well. I see so many protesters. What I first want to do is just add these walls in here. Now I am curious if this will function as two different habitats or that you have to add another fence for the same habitat in here. I have no idea if that's a thing. Let's have a look what kind of animal can we add in here that we can afford because that is also definitely a thing and I'm thinking maybe to go for some wild dogs, some African wild dogs or... Now monitor will need a lot of water. We might want to avoid that just a little bit. How about the ostrich? How would that be? Ooh, they're very cheap. They're really cheap, but we do need some really nice stats, of course. That one looks good. So that's a male. Uh, no longer here. Ooh, female in gold for six conservation points. No, nope. and you? Also not working. Oh god, I got a really bad one. I don't want that one. So Lebna, I don't want Lebna. Release to the wild. Release. Okay, I'm going to get some other ostriches. How many do we need? Common ostrich. One to eight. Okay, perfect. So we can just have one male and one female, I think. And let them do their thing. And maybe we can combine them together with some zebras. That will be really like I would love that. This one, maybe. Yeah, okay, let's get that one. And then right away, get some zebras in. That one is okay. Frontier Zoo, that's a female. So we have a male ostrich now. Let's move these guys. And then add the zebra in here already. So we can at least do something with their habitat. Let's get you then. You're, you're quite expensive, my zebra. But let's get you in. Move. Okay, so we have two zebras and two common ostriches coming to us here oh yeah i forgot to mention i did create this super simple shelter for the african buffaloes they don't really need it to be honest but i like how it turned out very simple but it has its function and it's all good i guess i do want to just copy paste it to the other side as we can and I do feel those zebras and common ostriches they do want to play around so it's nice to have something just overlap a little bit shall we keep some space in between or shall we just connect both of them that could work so just connect them like that like so did anyone got into a box or anything no okay all good so what do you need? Do you need any water? I don't think you... No, you don't need any water. I do know zebras like a short swim. They do swim. I don't see ostriches swim. Why did I even say that? But okay. You guys are probably laughing really hard now. Ha 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 ha. Lady, what are you saying? Oh my goodness. But they do probably like some drinks, the ostrich, so why not add a little bit of water just for them to cool down for the zebras. Just a little bit of water and nothing special. Do we have a water connection here? No, don't. Ooh, interesting. So it will cover their water area like that and it's connected. And now we can Hopefully it's big enough. Oh yeah, it's definitely big enough. So the ostrich likes more short grass. 
what else okay they don't need anything else so now we have to wait for the zebra to see if we can make you happier okay all good perfect so now the only thing we need to do is obviously add some nice stuff in here oh we need to pay attention to the height of the habitat because i'm not sure if the zebra would be able to get out of here to jump out of it or anything like that we're gonna make it nice and pretty guys don't worry and i think that's it i think this is at least the basics so now we're gonna check how high do these fencing need to be grade two only and for the common zebra or plain zebra sorry so the size is perfectly fine I do want to change some things off the barrier. So just add some windows over here and add one window over here maybe. Not too many. And then we're going to add some of the trees real quick and I will be right back with you guys. It's very simple, very plain, but hopefully they got, they, those guys will like it. Habitat, plants, yeah, okay, I added too many plants. Of course I did, I always do, because I just like to have a little bit more plants. Because can you imagine how bad it would look if they don't like any plants? Or that you just can add only three trees? I mean, hey, come on guys, we don't want that. So we have the female zebra right over here and we have the male zebra right over here. But what we didn't do, I know I say zebra or zebra guys, I just don't know what <laughs> how to say it. It's the most confusing word ever. We didn't add it to the work roster so let's make sure we do now. And hopefully this will turn out right and we will change the habitat a little bit in the future. <gasps> Did a bear die? <gasps> no! <gasps> you died of old age during your last swim? Pause the game. Oh my goodness. Emberly. Emberly, you, you, you died. You don't really look dead. Oh my goodness, this is so sad. Rest in peace. Oh, I'm feeling really sad now, but how is that possible? You're in the water and with your eyes open. What, what were you doing? Oh my gosh, that's so sad. I'm so sorry, Emberly. Oh, we're just gonna wait until your buddy also dies of old age, I guess. How old did you got? 24 years old, so yeah, you can also probably die like any minute or so. It's super sad. But we have to call a vet. Rest in peace, Emily. You poor Zane. You're drinking water? Oh, there she goes. <laughs> You're so cute. You're so adorable. Gonna have a nice swim. Enjoy your last days in our zoo. You know what we can do? Maybe. I'm not sure. If we move you to the training center. And we can rehome him. And I really like this feature. It is really expensive. Well, sometimes you pay 40k or anything like that. So, you, your animals will be transferred to an animal hospice for the remainder of their lives. Rehome for $10,124. 
So we can rehome him and then we can get two new grizzly bears and who knows we can maybe get some babies. Well, we have to wait I think a little bit because it's costing us a lot of conservation credits at the moment. You know what we could do to earn some more money? I totally forgot about that. We can change our price of the entrance. So since we have a pretty decent amount of guests or animals I mean, I'm going to raise it to $8 for an adult and $6 for a child and hopefully that will bring us in a little bit more money. Our box is still here. Yes, don't worry guys, our staff member is still here. I fired him but he's stuck here forever and I don't think I can move them, move him. It's just not working. No one else can pick it up because the staff member is stuck, which is so sad, but I just can't do anything about it. How are you guys doing? You guys are just so adorable. I'm really hoping that we can see some babies. I do have to do some more research, by the way, which is very important. Let's set that up just a bit real quick. So let's have research for the tapirs, the common ostrich and the plains zebra. And also we need to do that for the black bear, by the way. That might be a smart thing to do. We might want to hire two vets to... Because we only have three and we're starting to get pretty big. So I feel like we should do that and add three more. And just add them to the work rosters. So we have you work zone one, you work zone one, and you in work zone one. Perfect. We also only have one security guard. Doesn't really seem right. So let's add two of you and we don't need to roster for you guys. Hopefully we will get some more luck very soon with some more babies. So let's go back to our... Oh, they are also so adorable. Look at him swimming around. <laughs> They're so adorable. So how are our ostriches doing? So this is the male ostrich and you are the female. So what's wrong? Okay, the plants and enrichment, you need more food enrichment, interspecies bonus. Okay, so you have the bonus now because of the zebras in your habitat. They look so incredible though. They look really awesome. I think they, re they really did a great job on the animations of the ostrich. Like those eyes. Oh my goodness. So who knows? Hopefully some baby ostriches soon? That would be fun. What do you think, lady ostrich? Oh yeah, she agrees. I told you, she agrees. <laughs> Why is there food on the floor? Now what is that supposed to mean i am confused because i have oh wait okay so we probably did not do it all right then what do you guys need Ooh. okay this guy well, i'm happy that the keeper put some food on the floor then but obviously you are not going to make babies if you're not happy enough so how are you guys doing are you guys gonna mate? <gasps> Pause. Do you guys see that? Oh my gosh, that is so cute. I'm gonna pick, make a picture of it because hey, this is just really adorable. Isn't this the most cutest thing ever, guys? Is she pregnant now? Oh, she isn't. <gasps> yes, she is. Yes. Yes, we're getting zebra babies. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm, I'm so happy to see that so many different animals have so many different animations regarding the mating. I'm so happy to see that and it's so cute. Now, obviously, we do want to see the same thing for these ostriches now, don't we? I have no idea what they do if they mate. So I'm really curious about that. And it's gonna be very interesting, I'm pretty sure. Look at that butt. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Look at them. That's amazing. How it wiggles. It's so cool. I love it. Oh, that's so cute. 
Drinking together, living together with no issues. They're so pretty. I just can't help it. They are absolutely stunning, these zebras. And I can't wait to see some babies coming in now. That is going to be really amazing, by the way. Oh, I really want more babies. It's so exciting. It's finally working out. And it's it's gonna be like, the best challenge will be the tapirs now. Just, I don't know. It just feels like that. I don't know what else we can do to make sure they will. I can scream and shout at them, but I don't think that will work out unfortunately oh you're so adorable look at you <laughs> you're rolling through your own poop <laughs> you're so adorable <gasps> yes 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 go roll do it do it oh you're so adorable <laughs> We might have to do something about these buffaloes because I feel it went really easy for them and we already have two. <laughs> we have two more being pregnant. Oh my goodness. So what age do you guys grow up? Okay, five years. So that's gonna take a while, which is not that bad. And they have a group size of 8 to 50 guys. 8 to 50. Oh my goodness. So we can have so many in here. But the thing is, of course, they would need more space in a later stage. Look at them. Oh my goodness, you're so cute. You're absolutely adorable. I love it. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of all these cute little babies. I'm really looking forward to read that. And we're just going to end it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like at the video if you did. Remember, we will do more creative Let's Plays and speed builds, of course, when the game will launch. This is just a beta Let's Play franchise mode to have some fun with mostly the management part to see how everything works. Less focused on the creative part because I just also don't have time during this short beta time to record this all for you guys. Subscribe, of course, if you already haven't and leave a like at the video if you enjoyed. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.